the name of a psychiatrist and said, son, you're in denial. Yes. He said, no, doctor, I'm not in denial. Uh -huh. I've been healed. They brought him in a week later, pastor. They put him in an x-ray, x-rayed him. The doctor came in and said, something's wrong. With the machine. With the machine. <laughs> put him in the next room. They took the x-ray in the next room also. Every trace of the disease is gone. Fort Myers, surrounding cities, are you listening to me? Come on. Jesus said to Jerusalem, ah. you missed your visitation. Oh my God. He said, because you sat there and you were doing other things. But more importantly, this visitation is not about healing. My God. Many will be healed tonight. Many will be delivered this weekend. But this is a wake-up call Hallelujah. for the unsaved who yes. are coming being by the dozens and being saved. This is a wake-up call for a church that needs to come back, Jesus. listen to me, to a love affair yes. with Jesus. Amen. Not a love affair with church, with Jesus. Yes. Jesus said in, to, the, in, to the church at Ephesus, he said, I know your faith, you're hardworking, you're patient. I have one thing against you. Mm. You have walked, you've abandoned me as your first love. Oh my Many God. listening right now, you're saved, you go to church, you carry your Bible. You're listening, but you're out of love with Jesus. My and that's Lord. why all hell is broken loose in your life. You're suffering depression, vicious mood swings. Your marriage is a mess. Only when Christ is Lord Hallelujah. and the fire of God is falling in this assembly to, and bringing hundreds back to a love affair with Christ, getting themselves off their mind and the anointing healing people so powerfully. This weekend will be the most powerful of all the months that we've been here. Do a jailhouse break and come on out, amen, and watch what Jesus is doing. Come out and receive your renewal, your healing, and your miracles. Amen. And you know, it's not just the uh, physical healings. There are many, the epidemic of this millennium is the toxic mental diseases that are coming to people. Toxic emotions. It's at epidemic level. And there's one gal in the church, oh, we're going to see her clip right now, who was uh, really overwhelmed with um, obesity, had an eating disorder. Yes. Eating disorders are very prominent very right prominent. now. Very prominent. And um, she realized she had a problem and came in her honesty and humility and very. asked you to pray for her. And within the whole time, uh, and even losing weight to this day, Charlene has lost 35 pounds. She would lock herself away in her bedroom because she just had, had a phobia that she just didn't want to go she out. She would come home from work on Fridays and not come out of her room till exactly. Sundays. That's how her son told us And that. eat. And eat. Okay. Now she's delivered. She has not gone back into the bedroom, broke the phobia of being, she wanted to be away, closed away from people. And her testimony now comes to you because God cares about every part yes. of you. If there's phobias that have to be broken, God is powerful enough. Let's watch this testimony. It's so real. More miracles, more miracles. And this one is a very ornate miracle. Besides people's bodies being healed from their head to their toes and pain and cancers and tumors and lumps and diabetes and kidney stones, this is a very serious one because this gal, Charlene, she's a handmaiden of the church here, a, a, a greeter, does a magnificent job. And uh, she had been having a problem for a long time with obesity and it was depression and she was locked in her room. She never came out of her room for how right. long? 16 years. 16 years. 16 years. Of, I would go in at Friday night after church and I would stay until Monday morning, well, till church time on Sunday morning and then go back in and I would stay after, you know, after work from whatever time I get off, five. And you would compulsively eat and compulsively eat right. and uh, it was uh, it's been a life-changing experience and you know I've tried so many right. times I was even after ten thousand dollars in a trip to Hawaii one time from a magazine company and I couldn't do it wow but God heals and broke the shackles of compulsive eating. exactly and how much have you lost in this outpouring 35 pounds 35, 35 pounds, pounds. And show it's you amazing. picture right now of what the before and yes. the after that was your wedding picture I was shocked when I saw the before I was just doing it just for fun and when I actually saw what I isn't that wonderful? like it's amazing and then your throat you had to... uh, pastor Tommy called out uh, for uh, uh, someone who had damage in her throat and you know that uh, I was uh, I lost my voice box a couple years ago with pneumonia and I immediately went down and when he was uh, uh, 
given me the word of knowledge, he says, you're going to clean your house like you never cleaned it before. And two weeks before that, I was uh, cleaning out my craft room, and I says, I am doing my house differently, and I'm cleaning my house differently. Mm. And for him to say that was just confirmation wow. so you of made what God was playing. The way you control that now, yes. see, that's, that's excellent. You can control the control, the spirit of the Lord controls. Yes. You're going to be losing. You're going to come back on if oh, you lost yes. another 35 yes. pounds, Hallelujah. a newlywed. I am just so excited about my voice, too, because everyone, when I was talking, and I was talking like this, they thought that I was contagious or something, and they would stand back, and it God was just does a damaging of the voice back. Work. Amen. Exactly. Another miracle. Come, An whatever God. you need. Jesus Christ is. Yes. Need to lose some Thank weight? Jesus. Come on down to 3500 Fowler Street. Yes. Our God can do it even for you. Amen. Thank Love you, you Charlene. Thank you. Love you too, Pastor. This is no small thing. This is no small thing because this mind was bent. You see, mentally, she was running away from her situations and eating. Compulsive <clears throat> behaviors can be broken. I think that's what we're doing this weekend. Yes, We're coming against this toxic yes. mental disturbances. You're going to call them out. Yes, Pastor. You're going to unlock the prisoner in his mind. So many folks today are desperate, Tommy. Yes. They don't know where to run, what to do. They're taking it. They're picking up pills. They're drinking uh, alcohol. Yes. They're, they're, they're losing their minds. Yes. It's in the church. It's in the church. It's in the church, Pastor. It's in the church. And I, I'm afraid that one of the things that may happen here is we get lost in the miracles and lost in the healings and not understanding that all of these miracles that are irrefutable, these are documented, are saying to the world, wake up. Jesus is the answer. More than that, Pastor, they're saying to a church that's lukewarm, it's time to come back to Jesus Christ. It's time to come back. Let Amen. me say this. I was asked recently on a television show, why are the Islamics taking over America? Why is all this happening? The church is a re the world is a reflection of where the church is at. The church has been playing with toys rather than having a passion for Christ. And these signs and miracles are bringing hundreds back to a passionate love affair with Christ. It's lukewarm Christians, of which I was one, that can watch this yawn and go back to their addictions, back to their games, back to their ease, back to their prayerlessness, and then blame everything on the devil. God is saying to the lukewarm, I have three temperatures, hot, cold, and lukewarm, and if you're lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. My goodness. This is a time for the church to repent of its lukewarmness. <laughs> the miracles God is doing in Fort Myers are not just to do miracles, it's to call the church back to a passionate love affair before judgment comes. And pastor, judgment is coming. Trust me yes. on that. Yes, and you know, the thing that really upsets me the most, being the pastor, there at the church and having people come in and sit with me, it's so easy to walk into any doctor's office, say you have a little pain, say that perhaps you're not getting a full night's sleep, and the prescriptions that are going out like crazy in the lives of people, people are becoming so addicted because it's so easy to get these painkillers and these pills that cause you to sleep and to get up. Folks are just becoming so dependent. It's epidemic. Instead, right, now I was sharing with you this morning it, yes. that the only way that Lynn Bracco can make it from day to day, because you all know, many of you know my testimony, I've suffered severe losses, kicked to the curb, rejected yes. and abused, that's the past. Now. I could have turned to substances yes. to keep me coping, to alcohol, to yes. keep me with a buzz, yep. to take all this mm -hmm. stuff, mind control, but I choose every single day to meet with the master and get my orders. I choose every day Good. to take the broken morsel and the cup and get my connection so that I can make it through one day at a time. Amen. Just as you depend on those pills to get you up in the morning, those pills to take Take away the pain in your back, those pills to get you to sleep. I depend on Jesus Christ, yes, my source, my power, my director, my promise keeper. And I'm so tired, Tommy, of folks just absorbing 
pills and then the doctors give so many pills yes, they get confused I've got one gal that takes so many she doesn't even know the names and she crosses them over and sometimes she can't put t t two sentences together because she's over drugged Pastor, it's that. epidemic today. Um, these doctors, and by the way, they're starting to lock them up, and My they God. need to be locked up. My God. They are simply licensed drug pushers. But back to the issue. Both of you and I have buried a spouse and yes. a child. Yes, yes. When I lost my son, then the mother of my children was child were killed, everybody wanted to put me on pills. But I love what you just said. That is classic. I chose my addiction to be Jesus. Yes. And if there's anybody that should be on pills right now, strung out, sitting back, apathetic, having a, having a beef party. with God, having a pity party, dangerous mood swings, it should be you and I. Right. But we had to choose J-E-S-U-S. -S. Hallelujah. And Pastor, this weekend, that's what I'm preaching Glory on. Glory to God. How to see Jesus come into your heart and bring you over in victory in every single area of your life. Jesus is the answer. Amen. Amen. We're just going to take line number one is we're praying for a daughter. We're praying for a daughter. Hey. Hello? Hello? Yes. 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 Okay. I have you up on the program. Hello? Yes, what, what is your need, sweetheart? Yes, um, my daughter called me during the lunch that is a tremendous tension in the office, and I asked her to pray during the lunch uh, from the book of St. James, uh, verse 19 to 27, and so forth. And she said she did, but. Uh, her country face is just on my well, uh, Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, honey, here. listen to me carefully. Yeah, we're having a, a we're having a, a difficult time here hearing her. It, it's like uh, the devils are jumping. It, 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 I'm praying every day, and it's okay. from so many people that those comments. Okay. Let's let's identify the problem and empower the solution. I want you to see you're going to stand in proxy right now. Just listen now. Receive. You're going to stand in proxy for your daughter. We identify the problem. We empower the solution, which is Jesus Christ. Sarah Phoenician woman. Lord, for the malady My that God. is on her daughter. Same one. God, in the name of Jesus. My God. You are the cure. You are the answer for every sickness, for every problem. You don't have an answer. You are the answer. Hallelujah. And Lord, let her daughter be completely healed for your glory, glory to and God. your honor. Glory to we God. We thank you. We believe. In Jesus' name. We believe. We call it out. Hallelujah. Father, be glorified. Holy Spirit, go through this teaching. TV, yes. through the name of Jesus, yes. heal her and set her free. I give you thanks now in advance in Jesus' name. Mother, raise your hands and praise God. Don't beg him. Thank him. The work is already done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We have Kim. She has finger yes. pain. Kim, are yes. you there? Yes. I need my finger, right hand finger is so hurt. Pain. Can you even bend it open? How long have you had that condition, Kim? Uh, this has been have a, quite a while, and I went to a uh, doctor to get the uh, shot, and they make a reaction was uh, really bad, and I'm still continue holding my I, right finger. I'm, I'm so glad that okay. I'm so glad, Kim, that you went to the doctor because the woman in the Bible went to the doctors for her issue of blood. She grew worse. Watch what Jesus is about to do. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Raise your hand to the Lord right where you're sitting. Yes. Do you have it raised? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And for the glory of God. Be glorified. I speak to the source of your pain. Jesus. And I command healing. Yes. By the authority of the name of Jesus. Yes, my God. Every part of every tendon, every yes. ligament, I'm yes. every I'm cell here. in your body. Yes, Lord. Healed I'm by the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm I give you glory in advance, Lord. Let amen. it glorify amen. Jesus and bring honor to your name. Amen, amen and amen. Now thank him amen. for it. Don't struggle. Thank the thank Lord you. for it. Thank you. God bless thank you. you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, Tommy, we have um, another clip of a man, Walter, in our church. Prostrate cancer. Yes, prostate Gave cancer. Gave him up to die. That's it. They said go home. His PSA level was... Uh, I think it was 2004. 2004. Pastor, do you know what a normal PSA level is? Um, I don't know, but it's down to about 70 now, it, 60. 
his yeah. is, is yeah. down to that. This is a miracle on a level all by itself.